Hello friends, I'm coming to you today again with another themed ephemera for the Winter Wonderland kit. This may be the last one, I'm not sure. I may come back and do one more and then do the um, tassel or the bead dangle, whichever I decide. I still haven't experimented, so I'm not sure how to do that, but I'm going to give it a try. So today we have just, this is just a, a tri-fold um, deal that will glue uh, right into the journal and it's got some coffee dyed paper I prepped to uh, put inside some bits for the outside uh, to decorate and then this is called a flip book and I, I saw this on a YouTube channel called Heart's Desire by Venus and so I definitely want to give her the credit for that but it, it's basically where you use an envelope to make a flip. So this is the this would be like the, your journal. This is going to glue on the journal page. I created a pocket, some bits inside, and um, then let me just take this apart a little bit just so you can see. So this is going. I'm going to put that there so I don't get confused. You know me. I already created some journal, uh, cut some journal cards and a couple of tags to go in the pockets. So let me just show you how this is going to work. I didn't do a prototype, so we're going to just learn this live uh, together. So it doesn't look too complicated. So basically, um, I already did the work here, but I will show you what I did. So um, we've got these bits that are the front and back of the actual envelope. And I'm just going to set those there as well. And so basically, I just took an envelope and I, it's kind of an odd measurement and I don't do rulers very well. So I just kind of gave it a gentle fold to find the center point. If you had a pointed envelope, it would be really easy, but you're basically taking your envelope and you're only cutting it up to the fold of the envelope flap. So that's what I've done here. And then basically what this is gonna do is it's gonna attach on here. And then we're going to cut the bottoms open on these so they will be a, a pocket. So let's do that really quick here. I'm just going to do it by hand. I think I can do that. Just taking a sliver off to open that up. Whoops. And again, this Winter Wonderland Journal is going to be a giveaway. Um, but I did... Uh, I had a giveaway to someone in uh, Canada, and um, I'm going to have to limit it to the United States and Canada. I'm not going to be able to do an international giveaway. So that is a change. I didn't specify that in any of the other videos, so I will reiterate that um, as I move along. Um, but if you are in the United States or Canada, um, I, I can find a way to ship to you. But it, other than that, I just it's not feasible, and because I'm already giving these things away. I just can't, I can't do that. So I hope that makes sense. So before we get started, we're going to go ahead and ink this stuff up. And as you know, I don't make you watch that painstaking process. So I will do that really quick and I'll be right back with you. Okay, just finishing up the inking here on this last bit. For now, I probably will have some more here in a little bit. Got to get rid of the crumbs, though. You know me. <laughs> that sponge is is getting crummy. I thought that that domed sponge would be better, but it is uh, still very crumbly. But that's okay. Got to try. So let's see what we have. So um, again, this is going to go here. So. Um, I think we'll go ahead and cover these first. We don't need to do anything with this and we don't need to do anything with the other side of the flap because it's going to be, um, let's see, let me think about this. It's gonna go, because it's going to be glued down to the page. So not, neither of those sides is gonna show. So let's go ahead and cover these. So um, I thought it was really helpful um, and I, I don't remember her name. I'll see if I can find it so I can actually be, uh, give some personalization to this recommendation uh, from Heart's Desire by Venus. But basically she just pointed out that in order to not inter uh, to lose your pocket here, you have to make sure you're not putting any glue in this area. So we're gonna put glue around here only to glue these, um, these panels down. So I'm debating on, I've got these two blue fronts and then I've got, and I've got these two prints. So I think I'll do 
um, do them kind of like so and then do the opposite on the other side. So I think I want the rabbit. I love the rabbit, it's my favorite. He's my favorite guy. So I'm just gonna put that right there. I think it might be a little bit long because I think I wanna make sure that I have a little bit of a gap there. So if we need to trim those off, we will do that afterwards. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Barely Arts glue. And again, we're going to just glue, I'm gonna turn this again, and we're just gonna glue along this edge. And this edge. I'm thinking this is right, hoping this is right. And here, and then what she did is she also just filled this area in with glue just for some extra uh, security. There we go. So now I just want to keep this in order because now we're going to go ahead and put our, that's a little bit, a little bit sloppy. We need to do some trimming here. Um, let's go ahead and take care of that trim first here. I have a hard time going at this angle, but I don't have a choice. So let me just trim that off. You can always trim if things don't line up the way that you want or your measurements were off. I'm not a great measurer. I usually am a, uh, you know, visually line it up, make a pencil mark and I'm good. But that's not always the best method. So that is that. And then got a little bit of an overhang here. I'm all twisted up here. Okay, so now let's turn her over and we're going to go ahead and put the, um, I guess that, hold on, yeah, we need more glue in here for some reason. This didn't really adhere, so let me just get some, oh no, it did. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what we got. So we do need to close those. I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't premature in my thinking about that. So we're gonna go ahead and get some glue in here on this edge and along the bottom to get our, uh, no, not the bottom, that's the pocket. Goodness gracious, right there. This is our pocket. So let's make sure we're all closed up here as well. So we're going to get a little bit of glue in there. Not sure how I missed that. I'll have to try this again and see if I can refine the process. You guys are getting the raw, unedited version of this. I usually do a prototype, but I did not do that. Okay, so that is that. So let's go ahead and trim these up. I feel like that's really weakening that, that edge because I keep flopping it. Goodness. <laughs> All right. I'm going to trim that off. And let's see what else we got to trim. Everything else looks okay. 
think. So, before we do anything else, let's make sure we have our pockets. So we've got a pocket here. Oops, we've got a pocket here. And we've got a pocket here. Perfect. Test passed. <laughs> so now we're gonna go ahead and glue this on here so that we can get, just get some stability here. This is a lot weaker in terms of the flippy motion than I had than I had thought it would be. I wonder if those should have gone the other way. It's okay. So we're gonna go ahead and just glue this. Um, because my paper is longer than the envelope, the envelope this side, I'm going to um, just carefully try to get that equal on both ends. That looks to be good. I'm just going to fudge it a little bit so that we maintain that that gap. Can you guys see that gap there? I want to make sure that we have that intact there. I'll show you what I mean here in a second. So this gap right here, whoops, <laughs> this gap right here. So that is good. So that feels a little more solid. I feel better about fussing with it. So there we go. Yay. It's awesome. I should have maybe um, done something different there so that they, these didn't touch. And I think this gal might have done that and I probably wasn't paying all the attention that I should have. So what we have here is we've got a pocket and then I inked up this little, this is a, just a little book and just a writing space, doesn't have any paper in it. And then a couple of tags just straight up from the, from the um, kit. So we're gonna go ahead and put those in that pocket. I'm gonna glue three, uh, three sides obviously because I've got a pocket going on here. Like so. Oh, did I did I look at this to make sure it was the right? I'm gonna kind of go off to the left a little bit further in case. Oh no, it's perfect. I couldn't remember if I actually measured that out. I probably did and just didn't remember. So there we've got that beautiful pocket. I love this. This was actually one of the envelopes from the kit, but I just and I just cut the flap off of it and used it because I just love this pattern here, this watercolor deal watercolor is my is my first love so this this kit I think that's why I really like the kit uh, more than than some I may come back and put some little um, holes and and a string or something there but I'm not going to do that just for the sake of time and the video so over here we've got some I'm going to set this aside because now we've got our tags and such that I need to ink up but I'm going to go ahead and um, take the bits off as you know my process, I keep those things paper clipped so that when I get ready to do the video, it's I'm not scrambling to find things. So I'm gonna do that there. Just a simple, simple little embellishments. They're all just a little bit different. So I'm gonna take a moment and ink these up and then I'll be right back with you. <laughs> Um, something funny. So my husband came in to get a pan out of the closet and I paused the camera so that it wouldn't interrupt the video and I forgot to turn it back on. So I've been working away here. Um, so I guess I'm going to show you what I've been doing while I thought the camera was on. So <laughs> I took this journal card and I just, um, created this cluster at the top. So we've got some scraps, a piece of the lace, and then this is a piece of uh, scrap from the kit. I just folded it in half and then rounded the edges. So that is that. Apologize for that, for missing that, guys. I can't remember when I turned it off. This was the first one that we did um, uh, with the little blessing sentiment. It looks like that lace is coming up. So let me give a little bit more there. So yeah, I'm like, I forgot to turn the camera back on which is why I don't pause my camera because I do that all the time. So yeah, lesson to self. So, and then th this one was just a simple button. And I was talking about how, um, this, the button just, it's kind of a purple color, kind of a plum 
I know you guys can't really see that, but um, I thought it brought out the colors in the hair as well as um, kind of some plum color up in here in the greenery. So that's why I did that. So, um, so yeah, you got to miss all that magic, <laughs> but it's not like you haven't seen me do clusters or do uh, layering before, which is all I was doing. So this one is going to go again. I'm going to put this lace here. Oh, was I folding it over? I can't remember. I think I was going to fold it over. Maybe not. Uh, maybe just a little bit. So I can't remember. I uh, laid this stuff out last night, so I'm getting reacquainted with my choices here. And I'm going to cut that angle there so that I can have that edge. So there we go. So what, what prompted me that the camera was off is I was looking to go, oh, how long have we been filming? And the time was still the same time that it was when he came in. So I'm like, oh my gosh. So I'm just going to trim this off here. And I'm not even going to have it uh, wrap around the back. I'm just going to trim it off in this case. You can do anything you choose, though. I don't feel like the back is as important decoratively as the as the front. So isn't that so cute? I do need a little bit more here because I can feel that already coming up. Oh my goodness, come on. <laughs> there we go. So the family's coming over for dinner tonight. My husband is busy in the kitchen making his signature Snoop Noodle soup, which I don't make. I've It's his mother's recipe and I, I've never made it. He's kind of the expert, so... Um, but yeah, everybody's coming over all but my all my local kids. My son lives uh, up north, so he doesn't get to come for Sunday dinner, but the other local kids will be here and and my daughter's new new friend, new guy. so that's gonna be fun. Whoops. Okay, we are almost done and we can move on to the other project here. So I'm, I'm trying to work at not making these videos so long. I know that's hard for people because we only have so much time in the day and we don't have time to sit and watch, you know, an hour video, especially when I'm putting out video, you know, uh, several times, what, three, four times a week sometimes. So um, please take care of yourselves. There is never any obligation whatsoever for, um, for you know, watching in any particular way. So I just am glad you're here sharing with me and enjoying um, the process. So I'm just cutting that down a little bit. I want to put this on here under my word, as you know, that's my favorite thing to do. I'm gonna trim it a little bit more. I'm gonna trim this word down too, cause I've made that, that lace pretty big. ink and I'm going to get her in place here. A little bit on the back. There we go. Not exactly sure what I was thinking when I planned that. It kind of seems a little bit boring, but it's all right. So um, I will show you this at the end when everything is um, dry. So we'll put everything in the in their little homes. But I'm going to just set this aside for now so that we can go on to the other project. So, so this is the second project. So again, I have all my bits for creating my clusters and the other beautiful things that I like to do. So I'm just going to... Oh man, I just... Paper clip does that every time. <laughs> if I've got any kind of textile stuff on it, it just kind of pulls it apart. So, and then this is the closure, if I remember right. So I'm gonna go ahead, same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and ink these bits up and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so that is inked up. I've got some other little bits, but I think we can do them as we go along. So what I did is I just took a, um, a page from the kit and obviously I cut all the white off and whatever. I think it is still measures, um, well it measures um, just under eight inches. 
I didn't, I don't think I cut any off of it. So, but I, I can't quite recall. So anyway, you would just make it the height that you want for your journal. So I basically did that and then I just um, kind of guesstimated and just um, made folds to fold this over. And it's gonna go like that. And so what's gonna go inside is we have this, I created a little uh, pad here um, just with a piece of um, a scrap from the kit. I just took that and folded it in half. Do need to ink that really quick. forgot to do that um, and I, probably before I give this away I probably will um, do some inking on these um, coffee dyed papers so basically I just took a couple sheets and I cut them uh, in order to not waste when I cut it the dimensions that I needed this to be here I still had a, a bit left over so I wanted to use those so I just they're just narrower, which is fine. So I'm just trying to line these up so that the other one is um, is in the center here, if that makes any sense, like so. And then like so, ah, come on, you can do it. You can do it, Renee. There we go. <clears throat> I'm a little challenged sometimes. There we go, so. And I think this time I'm just going to staple these by hand and um, just to secure them so I don't have to mess so much with um, keeping these in place. So just grabbing my stapler here. Just going to staple here and here. And then what's going to happen is it's going to go inside of here. And it's actually going to... Um, I'm just going to glue, oh, not glue, goodness gracious, Renee. I'm trying to keep it down. Um, I had this all measured out like so, so I don't lose so much of the, um, the use of the paper. So I think that, you know what, I think I'm just going to glue it. Uh, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to make a line here so I know what my glue line is. I'm just going to go ahead and, and, um, and glue it. <clears throat> um, I've got my art glitter glue just because um, it I get an immediate hold on it, um, which in this case I want. So, oh my goodness, come on. I don't have much of this left, so I'm using it very sparingly, very selectively. So there we go. I just don't don't feel like doing the stapling this time, so. I'm going to go ahead and just put this in place, just lining it up as straight as I can. And um, I'm going to give it a press. Like so. Easy, great way to create some journaling space because this is what? One, two, three, four, five, six pages, and you could do front and back if you wanted to. Um, this actually could. Um, if I was careful, I could, oh, that, that was backwards. I could go like this and have that be, you know what, I might do that. I might have that be, um, when I glue this on, glue it, glue it um, only on the two sides and the bottom onto the page. And then this could be actually replaced and, and filled up with more paper. I might do that, I'm not sure, we'll see. Um, but for now, that's this is what we're doing because we're not going to put it in the journal yet anyway. So I've got that. So it's going to close like so. And then I've got some bits for a closure. I got to get rid of the I get rid of the crumbs. Okay. So let's work on the closure first. And so what I did is I have showed you the punch before that makes this shape. So I went ahead and cut one of those. It cut a circle just out of one of the scraps. And I'm going to use that, and then I've got this navy colored, um, uh, what do you call that, gauze. actually got it in the wedding section in Hobby Lobby, accidentally, <laughs> as I was looking for more variety in, you know, kind of textile ribbons and laces and things. And I came upon that. They, I got, they got it in navy, 
cream and this blue. So just inking this things up a little bit. This is one of my favorite ways to make make a closure. Super easy, doesn't take a lot of planning. And, uh, and it's fun. Oh, I didn't get a word for this though, did I? I might have to go fishing for a word. Um, so it's gonna close over. I just didn't like the look of that. I didn't, I mean, maybe that would be okay, but I'm gonna do it like so. And so basically I want it to go only to about there. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark this right here and right here so I know what my, my, my Spate, my glue is, my glue line is. Just hold that up for a second. <laughs> Again, you guys, you say you like to see the boo-boos and the oopsies. You're getting all the oopsies. Oh, that rubbed off the paper. Dog on it. Okay, that should be all right. So that's the way it's gonna, oh my goodness, Renee. Thanks for sticking around while I try to find a remedy here. It happens, right? I didn't do a prototype, which is always risk, a risky, risky thing. So I think that's all we need. So I'm going to pull that up again so we don't stick it down. And then I'm going to make sure that there's no glue in here. We've got a little bit of rough bits there because that was not planned. But um, given the nature of the paper, I don't think it's going to be a problem because of the, the, the design. So this is going to go like so. So that's going to be fine. It's a little bit weak now. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and pull that back out just so I can make sure that dries. Whew. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to just turn this over so that I can um, work on that little bit of a cluster here. So that is that. So the other thing that we have is we have a bit of a cluster for over here. So this again is going to go like so. It's gonna go under that flap. So perfect, that's gonna be, it, we, we made it work. So um, persevere guys, don't give up. You, there's always a way to fix something if it did not go the way that you planned. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up so I can work on the cluster here, making sure that I have it right side up. And then we've got some bits here to put on. And I wish I had left those the way they were because they were all beautifully layered up. So I'm just gonna ink this up real quick. Oh, I already had sweet. Oh, well, well, we got two sweets. That's all right. And then we've got our piece of um, vellum. So I'm going to move this because I'm going to, I'm going to put the cluster together um, off of the project. So we've got our little bird. It's so stinking cute. So the idea was I wanted to be able to offset. I wanted to be able to bring out the blue. So I think it's going to be kind of layered like like so, yep, just like that. And then this was going to go in here, like that. So let's just glue. I remembered, yay. I'm just gonna use the um, Fairly Arts, just get this all 
glued up and that on there right yep and then our little piece of vellum a little bit of wiggle room here I'm gonna need it <clears throat> and then we've got the um, the gauze or whatever you call it the gauze it's a little bit too much though just trim that off a bit the only thing I don't like about it is it just literally falls apart upon touching it so it's really tricky I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue there and so I can kind of manipulate this a little bit just like so <laughs> sticking to me and then a little bit more fabric tack just a little cute little cluster here and then we only have one more step which is to put on a piece of lace that I wanted oh that's not even going to show pull it down there we go oh my goodness <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm sticking everywhere. This is this is what I'm going for though, guys. There we go. <laughs> I gotta get this gauze off my fingers. Okay. <laughs> That's alright, guys. It's alright. I'm just gonna trim those little hairs off. They're, they're the gift that keeps on giving. Okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and put our word on. I think I'm just going to put it right on there. Um, do I want another piece of this up there? I think so. Never know until I try. <sighs> just going to squish that in there a little bit. I thought it was cute because it's like a little nest. A gauze nest. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my, I do have a life. I can't be glued to my project. <laughs> oh, there we go. Can't see much of that under stuff underneath, but that's okay. As we've talked about before, that's just kind of the nature of clusters and, and what we do here. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this on. I don't know where I want it, so let me go ahead and open this, um, get this back in place. This should be nice and um, ready now, so I'm going to go ahead and close it. And, oh, that's beautiful. So where did we want this cluster? Uh, up here? Down here? Kind of looks a little bit weird because of that in the middle, but... It's okay. We're just going to put it up here at the top. Just going to use my art glitter glue. Again, instant adhesion here. Sometimes it's what we want. <clears throat> my bottles are even rebelling today. So we're just going to stick that there. And then, um, where was I going to put the lace then? I can't remember where the lace was supposed to go because of the closure, it can't go here. I think I was gonna put it on the edge here. I think that's what I had in mind, but I'm gonna trim it down. There's, there's no, no sense in wasting all of this. and even <laughs> one or the other there's one side of the lace that's more um, uh, textured than the other so that's what I'm trying to find here so I'm just going to put that there and then bring it all the way oh just enough whoa just enough I'm just going to go ahead and push this down as normal and again I put it in the journal and show you but I want to be able to take photos so we will do that in another video, or I'll just show you um, in another video what I've placed in. I've got a lot of ephemera to go ahead and get put in the journal, and I've done some of that off camera. So there we go. There she is. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. 
So we can go ahead and put that paper clip back on just as a reminder of what we're doing. So there we have it. There is our second project. And um, let's just bring this over so we can talk about it just a quick second. So these should all be ready to be put in. So I'm going to have this one go here. A little tag. I'm going to have to go back and watch that video because I think she she must have done something to make this narrower and I just I can't re quite recall right now uh, what she did. I kind of wish that these were going the other way, um, but it's all right. So I'm just going to push that in as much as I can, like so. Um, hopefully that's not going to be a problem in the journal. It, it might hang out a little bit, but that's okay. And so that's a tag and then we're going to put a journal card in the other on the back side, so it's going to go in the same space, but it's going to be facing the other direction. If that makes any sense? Oh boy, that's tight. Tight, tight, tight. Okay, come on. I think that one's too long. We're going to trim that off a little bit. So, okay. Like so. Put that in there. Perfect. I love that. Oh, that's the tag. I don't want two tags in the same pocket. Oh, for Pete's sake. I'll put this one in here. <laughs> I confuse myself all the time. So let's just get that in there. Just up to the family word there. And then we'll put this journal card over here. Like so. Get that in there. Get that in there more. Come on, wiggle, wiggle. Okay, and then our last one is this one. It's going to go in again the opposite side. And just going to scooch that down. I love all the interest that we can see hanging out. I love that. Um, love, 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 love. So there we go. So on this side, we can see these cards and they stick out. And then on this side, we see that. I'm not going to put anything on here. You know, if the person who is receiving it wants to do that, um, they can. I would maybe think about the direction of these more next time. Um, because when this flips, these would have made more sense going the other way. It doesn't look terrible, but I think there might have been a better, a better way to do that. So that is what we've got. So thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.